Hello, you two people. What you're doing? It's nice. It's sunny. Finally, it's a nice spring over here. I love it. And uh, yeah, that makes you feel like eating lots of salads and stuff instead of heavy cooked food. Um, I'm sort of in a way from the um, YouTube for quite a while. I've been doing other stuff with my spare time. I am mostly painting. I'll show you some of my paintings and you tell me what you think about them. So this is my first one, a spring theme oil on canvas and then the second one is a geometrical theme which is a lion so did you like it did you not like it comment down below and let me know i really want to know your opinion and um yeah so back to the <clears throat> greek salad thing so um i've been ordering greek salads here and there in different restaurants outside of greece and I always get something that really is not a Greek salad. So today, once and for all, we're gonna clear this out and just I'll show you what exactly what a Greek salad is supposed to be. There's no lettuce, no spinach or whatever. There's no green stuff uh, in the Greek salad and the sauce is just one ingredient, it's olive oil, but Let's go to the kitchen and see all that happening in real life. Here's what you need. So a cucumber, a nice onion, a green bell pepper, ripe, red, juicy, squeezable tomatoes, big ones, olive oil, oregano, preferably Greek, and some sea salts and olives. Take your washed tomato, cut it in half like so, and then you need to remove this part because it's hard and not good to have. Throw it away. You do the same with the lower part if there is. So a little tiny bit, you cut it off and then you cut the tomato in big chunks. Each tomato needs to be bite size. So big chunks of tomatoes. Now for the cucumber, peel it off if it's not organic or if you don't like the skin. Throw away this part and then cut a large piece, I would say. Cut it in half like so in length and then chop little pieces like so. Not very thin nor very thick. Now the bell pepper is optional, but should you want one, it should be green. You cut off the top part and then you throw away the seeds. And then you cut thin slices like this. Now you need onion in rings. Thin slices and ring form. Now for the olives, only black olives, preferably Greek and then an abundant amount of Greek olive oil. This is not a low-fat recipe. Then some sea salt, preferably thick sea salt. And finally, the oregano, which gives it all its beautiful aroma. This is the finished product, a real original Greek salad. We say no to feta cheese because we're vegan, but yes to fresh bread. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. No, please. Hmm. Are we on vacation? Yeah, it feels like vacation. <laughs> yep. Indeed. Also the sun. Look, look. Yeah. It's Switzerland. Beautiful sun. day. But still. See no leaves and stuff. Greek salad. Mm. Actual Greek salad. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe and comment down below and like if you liked it. And don't forget, Greek salad has no lettuce. Bye! I love you all! Bye!